Welcome back to the show. Are you a fridge cleaner in your house? Are you? I am the fridge cleaner. Are you? House. Yeah, but I'm really brutal with it too. Mm. It's like I just sweep stuff out straight into a big bin and straight out. But to here's the... the question: Do yeah. you actually wipe the trays underneath? Sometimes when it? I spill it, like I, I do find the fr it irritates me if it's not clean. You, you're not cleaning the fridge if you're not wiping the trays. Yeah, I do wipe. Well, not all the trays, but some of them. Anyway. Yeah. Either way, our next guests will have you Hard covered. Hard to please, aren't they, eh? Carly Sunny. <laughs> Carly Sunny and Rachel Hallett are the brains behind Mums Who, and they've gone viral sharing their easy and effective tricks for cleaning and decluttering your home, and we're thrilled to say they join us live from Melbourne. Carly and Rachel, do you have anything to um, contribute to that conversation yes. with Carl? Yeah, for sure. Got some great tips. Good. So we'll start in the pantry and these tips are, you know, anyone can use them and make them their own. So a great tip is to keep labels generic where possible. So don't um, buy the same cereals every week. So I've just mm. labelled my canisters cereal. And then when we're moving over to, you know, other dry goods, <laughs> use clear containers because then you can see what's in there immediately. Label yeah. them so that when they're empty, you know what to put in them. And, you know, it, it just helps so, so much. It really does. Does it help to put a date on them as well? Yeah, absolutely. You yeah. can even just use a whiteboard marker on the bottom of your container mm. to um, keep the date on there if it's something you're worried about. Absolutely. OK. OK, some other tips for keeping a clean kitchen? Um, so, as you were saying, like you were talking about the fridge before, mm. these are really great. These are just cheap Kmart trays. Um, and if you just label on the front, you know, meal one, meal two, instead of the days of the week, so you've got flexibility, you can pop this in the fridge or the pantry with a container inside with your prepped goods in it or your ingredients, whatever it is that you, you want to keep together. So you can just grab that out at the at night time when you're going to make dinner when kids are running around driving you crazy. Just grab it out and everything's together and you don't have to think about what you're doing. Wow. I mean, that is yep, hyper-organised. That is, it's like, my dream. It's like my undie drawer. Is it? <laughs> do you clean that one too, do you? Yeah, Carly's the fridge queen, I think. OK. <laughs> Thank like you, ladies. Fridge organized. <laughs> Thank you for acknowledging. Um, what about the laundry? Yeah, so, uh, you know, moving over to the laundry, we've got some really great multi-purpose tools and ideas. So, you know, something is really good to have in your house is a cleaning schedule so you know you don't have to stick to it all the time life gets busy we know that um you know but just having those little dot points to you know get you motivated and keep you going it just helps so much even if you're not you know perfect with it and and that's you know that's okay too oh. um you know a hair dryer is a really great cleaning tool and something that is often overlooked mm. you can use it to clean crumbs out of your toaster you can use it to heat you know the stickers that you need to peel off containers and that you know that wow. glue comes off so much easier and you're not going to be left with those you know those yucky marks afterwards Amazing. it's it's seriously such a great tool and not just for hair so yeah. many uses for a hair dryer another multi-purpose tool which is really great yeah. Hair dryers are amazing. They do so many things. They do. Um, uh, another great multi-purpose tool is this little device. This is called a strucket, um, and it's a bucket and a strainer in one. So <laughs> it's really, really handy. Like you know, especially I know so awesome. oh, it's a strucket. It's an awesome name. It's so cool. But um, you know, like if you need to, you've got kids and they've made a stain on something. Instead of having to have like a big bucket or your trough filled with water with you know the clothing in there, you can just pop it in here and then it strains out and you don't end up having you know to deal with it. Put your hands in that gross water. I really don't like touching that disgusting no. water. Um, and it also makes a great storage tool afterwards. Like, you know, you can keep your cloths in there or Rachel likes to keep loose socks in there as well. So it can do multiple things and it saves space because it does extra jobs. Genius. Absolutely. Well, you, you guys have thousands upon thousands of followers and it's not hard to see why. For more, you can tune in to Carly and Rachel's Home Hacks podcast. They release a new episode every Saturday. Ladies, thank you so much. Struck it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'll get you for Christmas. That is fascinating. That's what you say when you drop something struck out of the fridge. Oh, <laughs> struck it. Struck it. out of the Wednesday drawer and it's only Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Struck, oh, it. Yeah. struck it. There are two things that would destroy that in seconds. Yeah. One's name's Audrey and one name's Evie. Yeah. Struck it. <laughs>